block editor makes it really easy to customize the content on your posts and pages. It works the same with posts and pages. So I'm going to show you an example with an about page. So you start by adding your title. Now your first block is by default your paragraph block and I'm going to paste some content into that first paragraph. Now I'm going to add a gallery block. So I click on the add block icon and then I search for what I want, the block I want to add or in this case it's right there. I click on the gallery icon and then I upload my photos. You'll see in the right sidebar that you have an option for that particular block. So this particular block allows me to change the number of columns that are just displayed in my gallery and it allows me to link to the media file. The options you'll see in the block settings depends on the block you're working on. If you don't see that block, click on the settings icon which will reveal it. And if you look at the paragraph, if I click on my paragraph block, you'll see that the block settings are different for a paragraph. Now I want to add some paragraph between my first paragraph and my image gallery. So I can do that by clicking on the more options and selecting insert after. So I've now added some more text, but I want to make my student guidelines a heading. And I can change between blocks by clicking on the, the transform icon and then transforming it to what I want to change it to. So in this case, I'm changing it to a heading block. And in this case, I don't want these as paragraphs. So now I'm going to transform it to a list. Now I've decided I want to add a table. So another way I can find a block I want to add is to use the slash key and then click on the icon I want to add. So in this case, I want to add a table and I want it to be six by six. So now I've created my table, but I want to change the look. So I'm going to change it to stripes and then I'm going to change the color. So it's got alternating rows and I really don't like it being located above my, my image gallery. So I can move the location of my blocks using the, the arrows, the up and down arrows. If I don't like a change, I can use the undo button and I can preview my changes. So if I click on preview, I can preview it in a new tab or I can preview it in the same window. So this is what it looks like in the new tab. I also don't like working in full screen mode, so I can change that by unselecting it under the more options. And it's as simple as that.